Are transgender people mentally ill, like society thinks? No. Let's talk about this because I have continued to see this comment on so many of my videos as of late, and we all know it's part of the, the agenda and propaganda that's being spread about trans folks, that the comment is, you are mentally ill. So first of all, doctors proved and ruled out that being transgender was not a mental illness over a decade ago. So I'm going to go ahead and listen to the professionals and the doctor. It is not a mental illness. There is nothing wrong with a trans person. Gender dysphoria is something we experience for many reasons, but it is not considered a mental illness. What this comment is, is as I said, it's propaganda that usually rich white men use to make their opponents, usually any minority group, look unstable. Unstable to make decisions about their own life. Unstable to be able to think clearly and logically when most of us are, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty freaking intelligent. Mental illness. Mm -hmm. So do you, would you consider yourself then mentally ill because you are For transgender? Sure. Yeah. For sure. So do you think there are transgender people who aren't mentally ill? Well, I think that there are a lot of people who call themselves trans that are not. Yeah. So, um, so those people, perhaps they're not, or maybe they have some other things going on, but gender dysphoria itself, I believe is a mental illness. But my whole thing is like, I don't think people who have mental illness are bad people. Allowing us to just talk honestly about the fact that it is a mental disorder and allows people to understand us. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a good two weeks since I last uploaded a video to my amazing and lovely subscribers. Hi, I was out sick and I'm a little bit out of practice. If you see me making funny faces after drinking this tea, it's because it has apple cider vinegar in it. And if you know about apple cider vinegar, you know that it does not taste great at all, but it is very good for you. So just bear with me while I drink this horrendous drink. Um, Today's video, I'm going to be talking about whether or not being transgender is a mental disorder. I have seen a lot of differing opinions over the years from, you know, trans influencers and political people all over. You know, I've heard the conservative side. I've heard the liberal side. I've seen how it was taken out of the DSM, which is the diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders basically like a guidebook for mental health professionals about every mental disorder there is and whatnot i also had seen a tiktok video by a person who was saying that it wasn't a mental disorder and it drove me crazy i will insert it in the beginning of this video i've you know heard of blair's opinion on it i've seen other people's and I feel like because this channel is, I've touched on so many different topics, it's only fair that this is one of them and that it is in my channel playlist. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I'm gonna be talking about transsexuals because transgender is this umbrella term that's become an umbrella term over the years for you know non-binary people, gender non-conforming people, and they're in the umbrella term of transgender. So I'm only going to be talking about transsexuals, which is, you know, people that medically transition to the gender that they identify with that's different from the one they were born as. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm not, I don't want to hear about like, you know, non binary and gender non conforming. That's a whole different situation it's not a transsexual individual transsexuals have gender dysphoria and to me that is a mental disorder i'm sorry but it is now here's the thing i'm a very spiritual person like i believe that you know we are all souls and we are born in this physical body and that we are on this earth to learn lessons and purposes and I'm very, very spiritual. So on the one hand, I can understand why people are saying, oh, you know, it's not a mental disorder. 
But on the other hand, it is. Yes, it is a mental disorder. Gender dysphoria is a mental disorder. Here's the thing. I've had really bad anxiety and I've been on Lexapro and I've had bad depression. I've been on, you know, medication, antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication. And these are mental disorders, right? These are mental conditions. And you get treated by taking these antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication or going to therapy or doing things in your life differently to alleviate these symptoms like something like depression anxiety or body dysmorphia gender dysphoria is a real thing and i feel like over the years because people have wanted to be so politically correct i had read an article that basically was saying like we don't consider you know transgender people mentally ill anymore because it's just a stigma to say that they are and it's like politically incorrect and it's basically saying that transgender people are crazy and psycho and I don't believe that at all, to be honest. If anything, believing that is a mental health stigma in itself. And I hope that makes sense. You can have depression and anxiety and body dysmorphia or something more intense like schizophrenia and also lead a very stable and impactful lifestyle if you are treated and that's what medical care professionals advise to transsexuals to do they advise transsexual people if they have gender dysphoria to transition to the gender they identify with because if you have gender dysphoria you would know that it feels like you're burning alive inside it's not a pretty feeling, to be honest, it sucks. And if people understood that and they understood, oh wait, like this person is like going through some mentally like fucked up shit, like fuck, like I'm so sorry. They might have a better grasp at understanding why transsexual people are the way they are. I genuinely believe like, okay, if you feel so uncomfortable in your body every day that you're looking at yourself and it's not clicking you feel this ins insane sense of just disgust and confusion and just discomfort and mixed with so many other emotions every single day that with time the more that you take it in the worse that it gets like if that's how you feel to the point that you have to surgically enhance your body or change or modify it in a certain way to alleviate those symptoms i genuinely feel like okay there's something going on it doesn't mean we're crazy or psycho it just means that there's just something there that is just not in its most he healthy and in its most stable and to alleviate that and to get to a point of stability and more peace within yourself you transition and you take those steps medically or surgically or whether it's just hormones or changing your voice or what whatever you feel comfortable with medically because of gender dysphoria and how present it can't be you take those steps to alleviate it so that has to be like a mental disorder I'm not saying that you're crazy or that you can't we can't lead like normal lives absolutely not i'm just saying that when gender dysphoria is so high and it's so present before you take all the steps that you need to to alleviate it more it it's very much like a mental disorder because it affects you so badly Another point that I had seen in these articles was, oh, well, it's not like the being transgender. It's just like a transphobia that people experience. And that was why, that was a huge groundbreaking evidence that that's why it shouldn't be considered a mental illness. Trans people were feeling sad because of the transphobia, not because they were trans. And it's like, well, who are you? Like, who are you taking the evidence from? Because as a, as a trans sexual woman as a transgender woman i can sit here and tell you like listen like it wasn't just a transphobia 
that I experienced early on. It was the disgusting discomfort in myself and in my body and in my secondary characteristic. All trans people experience gender dysphoria in very different ways, but we all experience it. And to an extent it affects us deeply before we transition medically. And that is why we, we transition. So if we have people sitting here saying, oh, transgender women are not mentally ill. Transgender men are not mentally ill. Okay, then don't transition. If you're so mentally stable and okay, don't transition. Is that not an option? Oh wait, but it's not an option. Why? Because you have gender dysphoria. So I'm just trying to understand here why we've come, why we're going backwards. Why we're like taking it back and being like, oh, it's not, it's not a mental disorder. Okay, then wouldn't it be so easy for people to be like, oh, well, if it's not a mental disorder, then why transition? You feel you have to do it to be happier and better within yourself, correct? Yeah. So why don't you just not transition? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's not an option because you're so miserable within yourself and your body that you have to take these steps to alleviate these emotions. That's it. If we have people understanding that and they're like, oh, okay, like she's trans because she has gender dysphoria and she transitions to alleviate those symptoms. I respect that as opposed to why is she trans anyway? So it's almost insulting at this point whenever I hear that, you know, having gender dysphoria and being a transsexual is not a mental illness because it's like, Okay, then why the hell did I get these and start hormones and, you know, try everything I could to feminize my voice. And at this point, it's kind of like belittling gender dysphoria and the reality of what that really is like for somebody that has it. In conclusion, I do believe that having gender dysphoria and being a transsexual is a mental illness. I don't think that once you've treated gender dysphoria and that has alleviated, I don't think that being a transsexual, a transgender person going out in the world, I don't think that that makes you psychotic. I just think having gender dysphoria and what that entails, I, I believe that is a mental illness. So let's not get it twisted, please. If you have any thoughts on this topic, please comment down below. If you believe that being trans, a transsexual and having gender dysphoria is not a mental illness, please explain yourself because I've read articles and seen the justifications for it and I just, I still don't agree. That's just my opinion. I missed you guys. It's nice to be back and talk about some things. Take care. Bye. Until the next one.